they also tell you like you should already know this by now and it's like oh, I don't I don't know any of it I want to participate but I can't because I don't want to like I, I don't know what they're talking about I feel kind of dumb <laughs> For elementary, I went to Y. Smith Elementary School. And then for middle school, I moved to um, Marine Joy Charter School. In charter schools, it's that they kind of try to make sure that we get like the education that we need, like the equivalent, almost the equivalent that you would get at a private school. I think not all public schools are bad because there are certainly some people in there that uh, join the public school program specifically just to help other students that they feel are at disadvantage mm -hmm. because they are in the program. And I do feel like at Y.E. Smith there were some people like that. Fourteen students from Y.E. Smith Elementary enjoyed an experience they will never forget. The third, fourth, and fifth graders were transported to RDU International Airport where they got the opportunity to meet with First Lady Michelle Obama. We were waiting in a line at the airport for her, and then when she came down, um, I and some other student had to escort her down to where we were. And even got a chance to ask her a few questions. I asked her um, where is she going next, and she said to a college to make sure everybody votes for Mr. Obama. I live with my mom and my dad, and then I have an older sister that's 17 and a younger brother that's seven years old. Um, I have a little bit of my mom's attitude. She encourages me and she wants me to be ambitious and try hard and I feel like I kind of try to match her expectations. I think she gets that from her experiences from when she was younger and like how they affected her now. So she, she tells me about how when she was younger she how she left the house at an early age, how she um, got pregnant at a young, younger age and like where she ends up, where she's now, and how she doesn't want me to um, miss on the opportunities I have now. Our kids would graduate from high school without us, um, but that would be as far as they go. So the purpose of our program is to take kids who don't have as many advantages as kids who may come from more wealth. The program is called um, PYO, Partners for Youth Opportunity. It's a program for um, students like me and they basically help them get to college or like they're like an academic support and moral support too. Just know that all the things that you think are different about you is what makes you strong. I think my neighborhood is bad. I mean, I think my neighborhood specifically has gotten better over the years, like it has been worse than it was, than it is now. But I think we are in a, like, probably not the safest place. East Durham, it's got its problems, but it also has its good side, its good points. You know, you come outside, you may see street walkers, where Giselle and uh, Jalissa live at, they see the SWAT team come through, I don't know, maybe twice a year. I'm um, on my way to Durham School of the Arts for high school. It's a really unique place, like I went to visit and it seems like a very welcoming place. And then I'm also like unsure about what I want to be when I grow up. And there's so many choices there and I feel like I could, I could figure that out there. There's just this little bit of resiliency there to her. So she's got that strong, quiet type that we like, who we believe one day is going to be a great leader. They always complimented me and said that I was hardworking and that they thought I'd get somewhere one day. So I've always considered like um, being a lawyer. I actually think I might want to do that, like become a family lawyer or um, a criminal injustice lawyer. I like the like how you have to like argue for a person, I like that. <laughs>